must be somewhere here. Oh, there it is. Wow, it was not a lie. It's such a big chunk of cheese. Wow, I'm such a lucky mouse today. But it is so heavy. Oh, I can't lift it up. Oh my God. I know, I will take just this little piece, right? Okay, hello everyone. My name is Stuart and yes, you guessed it right. I really love cheese and I love wood carving as well. So if you want to know how I was carved from wood, I will show you all the steps, but we better hurry because the terrible cat George can be here any second. He chased me all of the time and I hate him for that. Okay guys, we better hurry now. Follow me this way. Hello guys and welcome back to Homewood Spirit. I have here a new project for today, which will be also a little experiment because I have a feeling that my videos were far too long. Uh, from this reason, I have grabbed all important information, put them together, combined them with the interaction with the character, which was more fun for me and I also believe it will be more fun for you. Uh, please let me know in the comments below which version do you like more, if it's this new one or the older one where I'm explaining you all the steps very detailed. Uh, today your guide will be here, Mr. Stuart, and uh, he will introduce you through all the steps and through what you will need. Right, Stuart? Okay, that's right. How are you today, guys? I hope you are doing well and you are healthy. Let's carve together. <laughs> okay, let's have a look what we need for this project. First and most important is good whittling knife. Make also sure it's sharp with your strop and compound. The next thing we need is a pen or pencil and also a block of wood. You can have a look at this one. I have glued the pattern on it like this. And of course, you can download this pattern down below the video again and glue it on your block of wood. Next thing, we will need a ruler as well because sometimes we measure something. And of course, you can have a look in the pattern. There are the dimensions of the block. Also, we want to stay safe. So that means we need a carving glove and a thumb guard as well. The other two things are optional. This is a new thing for me. As you can see, my tail was made with a skewer and with a similar size of a drill bit. And also another drill bit for the holes in the cheese. We also need the drill, of course. And the last thing, which is totally optional is this U gouge for my ears. Have a look at them and have a look at these. The, the ones on the left side are made with the knife and these ones are made with the gouge, right? Okay, we can start with the step number one. According to the dimensions from our pattern, we prepare a block of wood and redraw it on it. Or we can cut it out with the scissors and glue it on our wood like this. In the second step, 
we need to cut out the basic shape. There are a few ways how to do it. First is with the knife. I will start with the stop cut like this and a push cut. Also on the other side, stop cut and a push cut. And then between like this. And we will work all around. We can also cut it with coping saw like this. Or with a scroll saw. My most favorite is the band saw. Just watch your fingers. It is a really dodgy tool. In this step, we measure four millimeters from under the ear and we will do a stop cut and a push cut like this. And then we will work with the series of stop cuts and push cuts like on this side. Also, we will make the back rounded like this. At the end of this step, it should look something like this. Rounded back and the notches under the ears like this. In this step, we will get rid of more material. So this is about three millimeters. This is three millimeters and my nose is still visible from the pattern. So I connect it with the edge of the nose, edge of the nose and here this point with this point. And I will get rid of all of this. I can do it with the small cuts or if I know that my wood is straight, I can afford bigger cuts like that. The good tip is that I can turn it around and do this paring cut and wiggle the wood in the knife like that. I also want to get rid of this corner and make it round like this. So at the end of the fourth step, it should look something like this. Right, let's move to the other one. Let's round the belly with the series of stop cuts and push cuts. Stop cut, push cut. Stop cut and a push cut. Turn it around, do the same thing. Stop cut, push cut. Stop cut, push cut. Stop cut and a push cut. And this little hump, just get rid of it like this with the push cuts. And this side is what we are aiming for. Something like this. Have a look at my belly. It is rounded and full of yummy, oops, <laughs> full of yummy cheese. <laughs> yeah. In step number six, we redraw the hand from the pattern and we will cut it with the V cut like this. One V cut and another V cut over here, just like that. Don't be afraid to go deeper with your V cuts to get better three-dimensional look. We want to also tidy up this corner like this. And we want to get rid of this bit here like that. And we will do a stop cut over here and we will get rid of 
this tiny bit like this. And this is how it looks like on the other side. We will move on to the hands later on, so we can leave it like this for now. Let's carve my head. I will do a stop cut here and a push cut right from the nose. And I will work with these stop cuts and push cuts again to make it nice and round like on this side. You can maybe struggle around the ears, so I will do this stop cut and a cut with the tip of my knife, just like that. And I will tidy it up. So, also I need to round the nose and under the nose, just like that. There we go. This is how we should look like, something like that. Oh, I forgot to carve something on my head. Do you see this shape which goes up for the eyes? Let's carve it now. Just with the push cuts like this. Go up and up and up and up. we go. There we go. Ta-da! Nice. Oh, this is much better. Let's carve the ears. Yes. So I will start in the middle just with this cut. And I will do these slicing cuts. Slice and cut. Right, this is it. Then I will make the ear rounded. Just like that. And also I'll make it rounded from the back. There we go. Once I get both ears rounded and ready like this, I will do this triangular cut at the back. Cut, cut, and I'll get rid of it. And also I will connect it with the rest of the ears and make it rounded like this. Ta-da! Here is the optional part. I can grab my palm gouge with the U shape and I can cut the ears in like this. Then I grab my knife and do a stop cut. Or I can do a V cut and cut my ears just like that. It's up to you. Nice, finally, I can hear you. Here are my ears, good. I have decided to go with my palm gouge. Unfortunately, I was pushing way too much and this ear started to split, so it can break any time. Well, sometimes these things happen, but this is how we learn. In step number nine, we will cut my eyes so I can see you. Just redraw it from the pattern and cut it with the V cut like this. Be very, very careful and make sure your tip of your knife is very sharp, just like that. Oh, I can see you, and I can see you as well. It's nice to meet you. 
Did you practice your V cuts? <laughs> okay, guys. Honestly, if you don't want to and you don't feel like to carve the eyes, you can just paint them and it will still look good. Number 10, we are working on the nose with the small cuts like this. But be very careful because the grain is running this way. So when you push too hard, <laughs> yes, you guessed it right, you can blow the nose off. <laughs> also get rid of this sharp corner over here. Oh wow, now I can smell. Ooh. Oh, here it is. Ooh, yes, love it. And here's another one. <laughs> Let's prepare the cheese. We will do one stop cut over here. Another stop cut right in here and we slice it up from the belly just like that and also I will do one stop cut here and I'll slice it up like that yep so that will pretty much look like this and also I will get rid of these corners like that and tidy up the surface like this towards the teeth there we go this corner and of course this bottom side of the cheese Just like that. Okay. And of course, tidy it up. In step number 12, we will mark the teeth like this and with the stop cut and this pairing cut, we will get rid of the wood around the side like this and one tiny cut in the middle to divide those teeth and of course a stop cut at the top like that here we go Let's carve my mouth. Of course I am happy. I have my cheese. <laughs> I will use a V cut over here like this. And like this. And here I will do a stop cut and then one cut here and one cut here. There we go. <laughs> Before we move to another step, I just wanted to show you how are we looking right now. Have a look carefully. Step number 14, we will cut the hands. We can make our V cuts bigger and we will get rid of these corners. Make it a little bit smaller like this. Here we go. Make the 
V cut again if it's necessary, like here. And we just need to mark the hand. It will be somewhere here according to the pattern. And I will do a small cut. Just like that. I'll get rid of this. Do the same thing over here. Okay. Like that. Of course, I will do those fingers. Just like that. Be very, very, very careful to cut these. Just use very tiny tiny little cuts okay have a look at this yes we are going to carve the legs so we just start a series of these cuts you just need to get right in Step by step, we will get right to the belly. Straight. Okay. Quite hard, but it is possible. Like this, or from the bottom, just like that. Okay. Something like this. I just start with these stop cuts over here. I can tidy it up here. Cut it there. And also I will make these corners rounded. And be careful because these legs can break very quickly. They are very fragile. So just like that, round it, and also from the top, there we go. Just to make it short, it should look something like this. And also, of course, very, very, very carefully, we will do my fingers. go okay this is it nice let's move on to the drill oh my god what is this i am scared yes you can be but we have to go through this I guess so. Ooh, I was scared too. Oh my god, it's still not finished. Ah, oh, what is this? This is the skewer with the same size of a drill bit. All right, okay. Let's drill it then. It wasn't good. That, that moved. 
but it's good enough and deep enough for the tail. And then we just cut it somewhere here, just like that. And there it is, the tail. <laughs> me and who is that guy that's me as well oh my god I've been cloned behind my back but you know what that's great news because now we can grab the whole cheese together don't forget to paint me and see you next time in Homewood spirit